Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will design footer using ReactJS. This is the footer okay, that we will design in this video. So let's check it. This is fully responsive for all devices. So let's start it okay to design it using ReactJS with the help of Tailwind CSS. So this is a new component that I have created. Okay, footer.jsx. Now let's start coding RAFCE to create the functional component. So inside this, let's change this to footer. Uh, inside this footer, first of all, we will have a div element. Inside this div element, we will have three parts. Okay, the first part, second, and third part. So let's design it. Uh, first part, duplicate it, shift alt down arrow key. We have three parts. Let's add a design, uh, just classes, class name to this. Okay, the Tailwind CSS classes. So the Tailwind CSS class that we will use that is grid, okay? Grid calls one. It means for smaller devices one grid one uh, div element, uh, and for medium devices and larger devices display grid calls three. It means three column per row. Uh, let's add here a class name, uh, BG gray like make it uh, 400 or 800 and what else we need to add that is just come here and here we will add gap between these it and here add padding x for smaller devices 4 for medium devices adding from right and left side is 16 for the larger devices the padding x okay from right and left side that is like 28 now let's write here okay the first part is just about this text so let's insert it in the first part we have h2 element in this element let's add class name a text lg it means larger text and font bold margin bottom 4 and in this area we will add the text let's add that which is about us and down from this we will have a um, text okay a paragraph so let's design that paragraph so inside this paragraph we will just place this text let's copy this text and let's add to this last name and text ray like 300 let's check the first part okay uh, yeah i will just first of all design then i will show it to you okay this was the first div element the first column now let's come here to the second column in second column we have just this these links so let's first of all we will have a div element let's copy this div element and instead of contact us we will write quick links and down from this we will have an uh, unordered list okay so let's just have a list we will have li tag inside that we will have uh, a tag okay anchor tag in this anchor tag the first element is a uh, home let's add a uh, class name okay class name uh h over underline and what else we need to add the text text okay uh, that is like uh gray 300 so let's duplicate this list and we have home services contact and about shift alt down arrow key to duplicate that's it okay this was the second part now let's insert the third part so for the third part we have these links okay so far to use these icons so for icon we can install react icons so let's i will just show to you come here to the package JSON. just install react icons library okay npm install react icons so you can install it so after that we will use these icons so in the part, third part we have these links let's uh we have first of all an h2 tag instead of quick links we will just write follow us
and down from that we will have again a list okay of these links so let's have this list i will just copy this unordered list and paste it here so after pasting that now what what i need to do is let's first of all remove the first one and just come here instead of these uh, 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 okay a tag anchor tag before anchor tag i will place the icons also so let's place first of all the icons here i will write last name flex space x would be four okay so it means that these should be in line okay and just come here and here i will just uh, uh, place the icon so you can use the react icons library like this okay let's import facebook icon just write the name f okay face power facebook f just write it like this okay so it will display that and also you can change the color text to 500 so that's it okay okay yes let's write here the second icon this is for i think i will just change okay facebook this is for twitter let's import the twitter icon last name text sky 500 let's change this to facebook and this to twitter that's it come here to the instagram And we will have a link here for Instagram. That's it. Orange 500. So it was the first part that we completed. Now let's down. We will just display this text. Okay. So let's first of all copy this text and just come here. Down from this div element, we will have a second div element. In this still we will have a p tag in that p tag we will have this okay code with user and all right result last name margin top uh, or we can add border border top just border top i think the class name is like this and we can also add padding oh let's check it now okay let's import it here instead of now bar let's import footer so that's it now just come here okay instead of that we have this okay we will just change the color and also this color to white and yes these are okay come here the footer and in the footer let's change the color text gray 300 and we should just have border top okay not uh, this is just border top we should not add this okay let's also change the border color border gray like 600 uh, what else we need to add that is to change the text color okay it's two tag should be text white copy this and paste it here also paste it here so yeah it looks like this let's bring it to the center and let's first of all bring it to the center text center and add margin top uh, would be like six so that is okay it looks like this but let's add padding y also here padding y would be six so that is okay we can make it eight but just come here and padding i will remove this padding top just that is okay okay the final result is like this now let's check the responsive news of this also okay, i will just close that it's just again just run it okay. npm run do okay to run our react app let's just 
control click this link so it will run that yeah let's minimize that let's check it so look at for smaller devices it will looks like the for medium devices and for larger devices so it was all about the footer that we have designed using react.js with the help of tailwind CSS. so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down thanks for watching